Hi and welcome. My name is Almir and today we have something very special for you. The brand new, note the name here, EUD62 NPN IPM. I simply call it our flush mounted matter dimmer. In other words, a flush mounted universal dimmer with matter certification. Why this is a small revolution for your smart home and how it creates completely new possibilities with very little effort, you'll find out in the next few minutes after the intro. See you soon. Before we get to the technical details, let's talk about what makes our dimmer so special. It solves a major problem in the smart home world, namely a lack of compatibility. Imagine you are an Apple user, but your partner prefers to use an Android phone. And at the last Amazon Prime Day, Alexa was on offer and you went for it. I think the problem is obvious. Provided you have the required matter controller for the respective ecosystem, we can now switch on the light via an iPhone, an Android phone, or Alexa, and then get our feedback on the respective devices. Our approach is quite simple, but how complicated is it actually to set it all up like this? Well, not that complicated. Each of our matter devices has a QR code. Now that you have connected the dimmer, open the app of your choice. For example, the Apple HomeKit app, scan the QR code, Define the room to which the dimmer is to be assigned and you're actually done. If you now also want to control the dimmer with your Alexa, generate an Alexa code with a click in HomeKit, Alexa code, which you enter in your Alexa and you're done again. You can always find the QR code for this on your device and beware. The box also contains a card with the QR code. We'll come back to this later in the video. But what does this mean for you specifically? Let's look at the following scenario. The sun is setting and it's gradually getting dark in the living room. Now you could get up and turn on the light switch. However, it would be more comfortable if your house did this for you. You leave your home and no longer have to run through the house to turn off all the lights. Your house recognizes when you leave and then turns off all the lights for you. Or you have several light sources in the living area and want to have a TV evening. You want your spots to be at 5% brightness, the shadow gap at 30%, and the floor lamp perhaps completely off. Sure, you could get up again and walk to your light switches. Or you define your movie night scene, tap on it, and the lighting is set as comfortably as possible for you. The whole thing also works by voice command. Hey Siri, start scene TV evening. For these mentioned scenes, there is actually no need for complex programming or software that needs to be purchased. All you need for this is the dimmer, a home pot in this case, and the mobile phone. You also need a few clicks. Let's go a little deeper into the technology. Our meta dimmer measures 49 by 51 millimeters and is 25 millimeters deep. It is certainly not the smallest dimmer on the market, but a dimmer needs its space for good and above all, long lasting performance. We therefore recommend an electronics box for optimal installation. The dimmer offers a REST API, which allows the dimmer to be flexibly integrated into your own smart home projects. This interface allows the dimmer to be adapted beyond the standard function and connected to other devices. We rely on power MOSFET technology to enable precise and efficient lighting control. This technology is suitable for dimmable 230 volt LED lamps supporting up to 300 watts in phase cut and up to 100 watts in phase cut in. Conventional 230 volt incandescent and halogen lamps up to a power of 300 watts can also be dimmed without problems. It is particularly worth mentioning that the dimmer works without specifying a minimum load, which simply makes it a little more versatile. The energy consumption in standby mode is only 0.7 watts. Soft on and soft off functions ensure a gentle transition of the lighting, which is not only pleasant for the eye, but also extends the life of the lamps. I would like to mention the memory function, which ensures that your last chosen brightness setting is retained even after switching off. Let's get a little more practical. I mentioned earlier how easy it is to teach the dimmer and get it to do what it should. After you power it, you hear a beep for confirmation, and then the dimmer is ready to learn. Now we start the HomeKit app. Here you can see my living room in this case. There is already a lot of lighting going on in the living room, but I still need this dimmer, so I teach it. And how do I do that? Via the small plus sign in the top right corner. I click and a small menu opens. I can add a few things at this point, and I decide in this case for a new device. The camera now opens and I can scan the QR code I mentioned earlier. It immediately finds the dimmer, and I only define the room in which I want to store it and have nothing else to do except to give the dimmer a name. And what about the scenes and automations we talked about? To show how easy these are to create, we take the time and create them. The sunset automation. 
For this, I tap on the automation button in the middle at the bottom, then again on the plus sign in the top right and finally add automation. HomeKit already gives me suggestions for automations in the lower area, but I'm not interested in those for now. I want to choose the event myself when something should happen. I choose the time at a certain time of day and then the sunset. Tap on the small eye on the right side and choose 30 minutes after sunset. And since it gets dark every day of the week, I leave the weekdays as they are and tap on next. Now I choose the devices that should react to the sunset. I choose my shadow gap, the floor lamp and the ceiling light. Next. At this point, I tell the lights just determined what exactly they have to do. The shadow gap dims to 80%, the floor lamp to 30% and the ceiling light to 40% and finished in this case also means finished. The second automation lights off when I leave my home. Bottom center on automation. When person leaves the place, the last person leaves. Next, select lights, tell the lights what they have to do. Switch off, done. And now to the movie night scene. For this, I go to my home screen, tap again on the small plus in the top right and choose add scene. Apple suggests scenes to me again, but I decide for my own scene and name it Movie Night. And again, add the devices that I need for my scene. I tap on Done again and tell my lights exactly what they have to do. Done. Now I can call up my scene with a tap or tell Siri, Hey Siri, start scene Movie Night. You see how easy I can control and automate my home and what possibilities are offered to me and that with simple means. One thing I would like to address, you will find another code next to your Apple QR code for our El Taco Connect app. With this app, you can change the dimming behavior. That is, set the minimum or maximum brightness if necessary. Please keep the El Taco Connect app in mind. With the app, we can do much more with other devices, but we'll get to that another time. Now you have seen in practice how easy it can be to make your home smarter and more comfortable with our El Taco dimmer. With Matter compatibility, which enables the interaction of various smart home platforms and an intuitive setup via QR code, which makes you ready to go in a few moments. Our dimmer is not only a sign of innovation, but also of user friendliness. With the El Taco Connect app, you have control and the ability to customize your lighting experience outside of the ecosystems. Anytime and exactly according to your wishes. We look forward to showing you even more possibilities in the future, how you can make your house smarter and expand with El Taco. Oh yes, and finally, I recommend you to subscribe to our newsletter to have a clear view in the future of what our new releases are. Take care and see you soon.